We've looked at many aspects of how we set up networks, the latest being how we look at loss functions and entropy. We want to move a little more to how we actually set up the network. How many parameters do we use? And that's critical. It brings us to the subject of regularization. So what is regularization? Uh, yeah, maybe we can see that in this example. Uh, suppose we want to fit a curve uh, on this data. Here we use a polynomial of degree 4, and here we use a polynomial of degree 15. I, so which one do you like better? Well, if we look at the polynomial here, if I can find my finger, notice that it goes through every single point perfectly. It so, fits yeah. perfectly. So less uh, training error. Less error. I mean, in that case, it's almost zero error. And, but we notice that it has higher frequencies that are not really related to the data. I, I prefer degree four in this case. It has some fitting error, but the variance is much lower than the perfect fit. So. In general, you can't just go here or here, but maybe somewhere in between. Mm -hmm. And when we have neural networks, there is a tendency, especially at the beginning, to do polynomial 15. T too many parameters. Exactly. So in neural networks, we have too many connections, too many parameters. So there's a high chance of overfit. Yeah, so we may actually create outputs with high variance, and that's not what we want. Yeah. So somehow we have to, if you like, smooth the networks out and reduce the connections in some manner. Exactly. And so, that's, yeah, exactly. So basically here in this setup, the network can easily learn to just memorize training data. Very low training error, very high generalization error. Right, and we don't want that. We want generalization because if we're modeling the neural networks in parallel or taking our inspiration from biology, then we don't want to have a lack of generalizability. Exactly. The networks must be able to generalize to new inputs. So there are a number of different techniques to regularize. Uh, we just named them in this video, just, uh, we just introduced them here, L2, L1, dropout, and data augmentation. And, and we will go through um, details in each of these techniques in future videos. And so what we are doing is in order to smooth things out, we are introducing some penalty terms to get rid of the roughness, in the, if we like, mm -hmm. in the fitting in a general abstract space. But we also have this in biological systems. Biological systems are self-regularized, and we'll also look at that as a biological example of regularization.